Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. And today I'll talk about uh, Azure Certification Path, a complete guideline for 2023. So many of you have requested me uh, in my channel that please uh, post a complete certification path. And I will uh, try to cover uh, from uh, cost, preparation strategy and complete guideline. So who should take which certification? So since uh, there is a lot of ups and downs in the current market and we are currently going through a recession and there are layoffs here and there. So I think it is the best time for us to invest on ourselves and prepare for the future. So it may be uh, a small step like certification. It can be some batches or it can be uh, some PG diploma or MTech MS if you want to pursue MBA. Anything can be uh, like you know, done. So uh, let's talk about uh, Azure certification path today. So uh, first of all, uh, like uh, who should take the certification? So the thing is that Azure certifications, any for, for that matter, any certification like Azure GCP, uh, AWS, the, the basics or uh, fundamental certification are quite easy. So anybody can take. So may not be he or she will attach to a, a technology, specific technology stack, but uh, for the fundamental certification, it is very easy to crack. So Azure has introduced role-based certification few years back earlier. If you uh, have idea, possibly you see uh, there are certifications like you know 770, uh, and then uh, the course started with 70, uh, 483, 70, 480. So those certifications are retired these days. So in role-based certification, you could see all the certification uh, certification related to Azure starts with AZ, AZ uh, 400, AZ 305, AZ 900. So there are 900 series are basically for uh, fundamental certification 100 or 200 those series are usually for associate level which is uh, slightly uh, difficult you can see in fundamental and the their next level is associate and 300 and 400 usually are uh, expert level certification and they also have a specialty level certification specialty as in like if you are from uh, non microsoft background maybe you are working with sap so you can do a certification which comes under azure uh, as part the specialty certification so there are certain criteria uh, that i will also discuss so first this, this role based certification i'll talk about so role as in like you know based on your role so you may be a developer you may be a, a tester you may be an admin you may be a specialist devops specialist so based on your role and interest you should pursue the certification so let's uh, check what all uh, like you know certification available for developer and then we'll see the other so if you see uh, this uh, picture, you can see this AZ900, which is basically, okay, all fundamental certification are optional. You can take it or you, you if you wish, you don't. But the, the good thing is that majorly this certification comes free. So there are events organized by Microsoft. If you can uh, check my channel, that will be available in AZ900 and DP900 video. Those links are there. So if you join their virtual training for two days, like two hours each, they will provide you a, a voucher. So you can freely take this AZ900 or DP900 or AI900, any 900 certification. So that will you get the first batch and overall you will get an idea about the platform and the exam. So I definitely recommend you. So no matter you are uh, taking any of the advanced level, just first pursue any 900 exam, which uh, slightly aligned to your interest. Now, coming to if you are a developer, the best thing is that you need to do for AZ204. You need to go with the AZ204. 204 is for the developer. Now, who like who can take it? Anybody can take it, but uh, here internet audience might be a .NET developer, maybe PHP, uh, Java, anything. Uh, it it will be uh, people will get slightly advantage if they are from .NET domain because Microsoft predominantly their explanation on every labs and everything in .NET. But still, you have an option to uh, get it in JavaScript or Node or Java or Python uh, or other language. So recommend is .NET. But apart from other technology uh, guys who are developing uh, application, they can also take the exam. So 204 can be directly taken. So this is the majorly taken by the developer. Uh, and they will get an associate batch. So after 204, what next? So if they want to pursue the expert level certification, they can go for uh, 400 which is but devops uh, specialist certification so if you need to become uh, from uh, level developer to devops so 204 and 400 you need to take now if somebody is uh want to become a devops guy uh, and he's not a 
developer so what they can choose they can choose this path where he can take the administrator certification which is different from uh, this uh, developer certification here there won't be any uh, question asked from scripting or coding rather it will be a complete uh, approach where you need to ask a lot of questions from the services so they need to take azure administrator certification and then they have two options either they can go with architect level 305 or they can go with 400 so the good point of az 104 is it uh, suffice this prerequisite for 305 and 400 so if you take 104 you can take 304 and 400 so you'll all together have three certification also if you take 904 if you take 204 path then you can only go to that 400 you cannot take uh, 305 305 you can take but you cannot earn that microsoft a, a solution uh, architect this batch you can't earn will simply uh, earn something like like you know microsoft certified uh, infrastructure uh, architect that one uh, not this three star you'll get so that is a path for the developer and admin so if you are admin go with this path go to administrator and then you decide you want to go with devops or you want to go with uh, architect now there is one more uh, certification which is quite reputed it is uh, az 500 so security engineers so people are uh, aligned with network and security cisco and all other uh, stuff they can definitely uh, take this certification it is what to take and the certification level is also difficult one more thing i would like to tell the difficulty level these all associate certification are difficult so if you take the fundamental they are really easy associate are the most difficult and expert level certification are slightly easier than associate because here the syllabus is slightly uh, like you know uh, i mean the syllabus that is there in the exam is like shorter than this and one more question one more thing is here you can see in associate level all the practical question will be asked and in expert level usually scenario based question will be asked so which is slightly easier to understand uh, like understand or answer now if we uh, talk about the data so data part i have a specific uh, slide altogether so if you are someone who is aspiring of a data science or he is already working as a data science engineer there is a good exam uh, called uh, dp900 so that is a data fundamental where your fundamental will be checked and then you can go for the dp100 so dp100 is for data scientist so data science basically so uh, you can directly take dp100 but if it is a first chance, first try, then first take uh, DP900, then take DP, uh, DP100. Uh, then coming to data engineer. So data science is completely different uh, in terms of data engineer. Data engineer are who are who can write query, store procedure, cursor, trigger. If they want to validate their knowledge, uh, they can take DP203 directly or uh, these two options certificate. So they can take both. Or I would say if you are going through a data uh, engineer or science role please take this dp900 this is a very good exam for fundamentals and then you can uh, take this dp203 now for the admin those who are suppose oracle admin or sql server admin or any uh, for that matter any uh, database admin they can directly take dp900 or maybe dp900 dp900 to, with dp300 so that that combination will work so these are basically a uh, uh, reputed path for data science, data engineer, and database admin. There is one more path that is, I have seen people are uh, like, you know, uh, doing that is artificial intelligence. So recently they have introduced AZ-102. So that is specifically associate level certification for AI engineers. So if you are someone who is working with uh, uh, neural language, uh, machine, lang machine learning, and AI stuff, so you can validate your knowledge by uh, taking AZ. 102 but az 102 i would rather recommend it please uh, go and take this az 900 because ai 900 so because uh, in ai 900 they uh, they have given a overview of uh, their artificial intelligence tool whatever available in azure scope and in ai 2102 it is a difficult certification they have in details they will be asking question uh, in 102 though it is not recommended i mean though it's not needed but it is recommended to have one is AI 1900 if you are aspiring for AI 20, AI 102. So that is all about uh, the certification path. And now I will I'll tell you a types of certification I have covered cost. So uh, the cost is like for fundamental certification, it is $99. And for all other certification, usually is $165. 
so if you are taking this exam from india you need to pay some extra uh, like you know dollar conversation co cost but one good point is all the fundamental certification usually if you join any other virtual training you will get free so you need not, you not, you not to pay and for associate and expert level certification so if you just wanted to say uh, this is like you know certification portal and if you suppose if you are planning to take say az400 so just try site search 400 and you can uh, schedule an exam like this just you know, 165 and schedule an exam from here in in most of the co companies like service based companies they provide uh, like you know free certification so if you use company's email address so log in with your own email address then there will be an option to check the coupon code there you can give your company email address and company email address will validate through sso and there you can see what are the uh, like you know percentage uh, applied like it might be 50 percent for some companies and earlier it was 100 percent for all the companies but these days some companies are giving 50 percent discount so you need to pay half of this price and some companies it is completely free however azure certification is uh, slightly uh, lesser cost because if you see AWS certification, it is uh, two or two to three times higher than this price. So Azure certification definitely it's uh, slightly uh, low, low, lower side prices in slightly lower side. Now we'll quickly touch the preparation strategy. Uh, so so first of all, like uh, preparation strategy should be like I mean as I are already told, if you are working a developer role, uh, say Azure Pass Service developer or uh, maybe you are a DevOps engineer. If you have a hands-on experience uh, in particular domain, then it may, may take around two, uh, two, three months for preparation. So daily two hours, weekend six to eight hours uh, preparation would be sufficient. Uh, even less if you are already having uh, some knowledge for the specific area. If you are completely novice, then it may take uh, at least three months for completing the first associate level certification. For fundamental seven days preparation is fine, seven to 15 days at max. So what will be your preparation strategy? So the best thing is that you can learn anything uh, from this, this portal. So these portal are quite huge. And if you uh, go each page, then it would be better. You can see the progress also. Um, uh, I was preparing for AZ400. Uh, so I have gone through this course, uh, like for some module I've gone through. So this case study usually asked in the, like you can see the case studies. They usually asked in the exam. So that is one way. If you have slightly lesser time, you can go to Udemy or any other platform. Just uh, check a video lesson, video course, maybe uh, 10 or 20 hours, completely video series you watch. They have covered almost all topic. And after that, you need to take some practice exam, maybe two or three practice exam that you from Udemy or WizLab or any other, other good, good platform. So after that, what I recommend you to, you know, uh, no matter what level of expertise you have, you need to definitely consider those pdf or dumps whatever are available over internet so there are a couple of uh, sites like actual exam it uh, certification uh, those are those are basically good you can you can consider any of them and uh, i also have a you know, similar like you know portal so if you are aspiring any of the certification you definitely uh, search this portal you will get uh, uh, that uh, like you know, dumps at very minimal uh, price like you know with very very small price and all are updated if not updated you'll, you'll get a mail with the updated uh, like you know pdfs so uh, these days dumps price are quite high and uh, that is the reason that i have created this site with very small amount of with nominal price basically okay now uh, so i think that is it so if you have any uh, question or query do let us uh, know in my comment below and since i have to do a lot of research to make this uh, kind of content Please uh, do uh, subscribe uh, to my channel and give, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.